In this video, I'm gonna cover switch function. So to understand switch function, you have to understand if and ifs functions as well. So if you don't already have some understanding of if function and ifs function, I would suggest watching my if function video. So let's quickly just look at this different tabs we have here. So see, we have this different tabs. We have pricing for our products, for our stock numbers for different years. In our transactions, we have this column of dates. And I'm trying to basically bring over some information like cost for the product to this tab. So what I need to do, I need to make sure that if the date of the sale here occurred in 2015, I need to pull that information from this tab in 2015. If it's 2016, we have to pull from 2016 and so on. So first of all, let's try to do this using ifs function. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say equals ifs, and then we're gonna do the condition. So the condition is gonna be, I'm gonna check the year. So I'm gonna do the year function to pull the year out of that date. And I'm gonna say if that equals to 2017, comma, then what I want to do, I want to pull the data from this 2017 tab. And I'm gonna do that using the get function. You could use index match or VLOOKUP, I'm just gonna use the get. So I'm gonna go check the database. So the database is gonna be the range in here. So I'll select the range in this tab. I'll lock it with F4, comma. Then I'm gonna get the information from this column cost. So I'll do cost, comma. And then I need my criteria. So the criteria I'm gonna do, I'm gonna search in that stock number column. So I'll do stock number semicolon. And I'm gonna go back to my transactions tab and click on the stock number that I'm trying to match. So right now, if I hit enter without doing anything else, it should give me an NA because it's not matching the condition. The condition was if the year was 2017. But if I pull this down a little bit, see there it is, 2017, we're getting the price for this. Good. So to continue with this, I basically just have to do this for all these other cases. So I'm gonna go here after I finished with that one. I'm gonna do a comma and do the next check. I'm gonna check if the year equals 2016. And what I want, I want to basically pull that information now from that other tab. So I'm gonna do the get function, this 2016. I'm gonna go here, command shift right down, F4 to lock the range, comma, then cost column is what I'm after. And then finally, we need the criteria, which is gonna be that stock number equals B2. So I'm just gonna copy that part and paste it. And close parentheses for my DGET right there. I'm gonna hit enter. So far, this should take care of 2016 and 2017. Now I have to do this for 2015 too. So I'm gonna go back to this and do another comma in my ifs function and do another check for the year and see if that year is 2015, comma. Again, use my dget function and go to 2015 tab. Select the data range and lock it, comma, cost, comma. I'm gonna paste that array I already have copied. Close parentheses, hit enter. So that should take care of all of those. So now we should be pulling our stock numbers here. Let me open this formula bar based on the date. So if it's 2015, this should be coming from that 2015 tab. And just to confirm that, we'll go here, see 544 for that item, that's correct. Now over here, that's the same item, but it's 2017, 2344, so that's correct. So there we are. So we're pulling data from different tabs based on the year coming from this date. 
Uh, let me actually change one of these to a year that does not exist. Let's say this was 2014. And you see, we're gonna get NA. So if we want to handle those because we don't have prices for 2014, then I'm gonna just go here. So I'll do another comma here. And the last one here, I'm gonna do true to basically do an else sort of statement. And in all the other cases, I'll just say price not available. So if I drag this down, it should be the same, only it should say price not available in this case. So now that gets us back finally to our switch function to understand why you would ever want to use switch functions. So switch function in a way is ifs statement, but it's more efficient in certain cases. So let's see which part of this formula right now is not efficient in the way it's gonna calculate. So in this formula, because this year function we use here, in all of these cases, we need to go and extract the year out of that date once, then twice, then here again. So that will take more calculations to go and pull the year out of the date, and we have to do it multiple times. So to avoid that situation, we can use switch function, which will run that year function only once instead of running it multiple times. So let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna go here and do equals switch. And in switch function, in the first argument is what's called an expression. That's basically something that you run that gets you some result. So in this case, my expression is gonna be to get the year out of this date. So see, I'm not gonna do logical test here. I'm not gonna check if it equals to 2015 or anything like that in here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a comma. That's my expression that will just get me the year. And then I'm gonna say 2017. So basically that means if this year here is 2017, then we're gonna do what's after this comma. So I'm gonna do dget, that function again, to go get my matching coast. So I'm gonna go to products 2017 tab, select my data, lock the range, comma, and get information from my coast column, comma, and paste this array. I'm gonna close parentheses for my dget function here. And I will actually close parentheses for switch function as well for now and hit enter. I get an NA again because this is not 2017. So what you're gonna get is an NA or you're gonna get, see, 2344. So that's similar to doing the first part in that ifs function. Now let's move on to doing the second part. So what you do now, you go here and you do a comma and just do the next option, 2016. And see, I don't have to recalculate the year anymore because it's already calculated here we're just gonna check, is it 2016? And if it is, we're gonna do our dget function from 2016 tab. So I will go to 2016 tab, select the data, lock the range, comma, and then coast, and then the array, close parentheses, and then comma, and then next year. So I'll do 2015, if I'm not mistaken, and again, the get function, and we'll go to 2015 tab, select the range, lock it. So same thing, pretty much from different tabs, in this case, and the array. For my the get function, I'm gonna close that, and this parenthesis here is closing the switch function there, I'm gonna hit enter and drag this down a little bit. We should get roughly the same results. There's one difference, we don't have this else statement. We get an NA and we can do that too in the switch function. What do you do after you provide all of these? You just do a comma and type what you want to happen if there is anything else. So I'm just gonna say price not available. 
and drag this down one more time and that should get me exactly the same results as I'm getting with this ifs function using switch function. And the difference is that this is gonna be more efficient because we need to only calculate year once. When your functions get really long like this, you can also do alt enter or option enter return to make it more readable. So for example, I can say switch year like that. And after the comma, I can do alt enter to move this to the next line and then keep all of these here and then move this possibly even move the deget to the next thing. So we're saying if this, then this, then if this 2016, then that, and if this 2015 just gives you line separation in your function. Hit enter. It's still going to be the same thing. It's just possibly easier to kind of look and understand what's going on in this formula. So you're looking here, 2017, it's gonna do this. Then it's 2016, it's gonna do this. If it's 2015, it's gonna do this, right? And finally, in all the other cases, it's gonna do price not available. So yeah, so basically the simple structure of this function, just to go over it again, is if I do an expression as a first thing is an expression. So for example, I can check the month here. So the month function here from this date, see it gives me five because it's the fifth month. So it gives you the number of the month. So that is the first part of this formula. Then you do a comma and say, if that is whatever you type here. So in this case, if that's one, and then you say, what do you want to happen? So I can say type, J -A -N. And then you go for as many pairs as you need after this. So I can say if it's two, then comma do FEB. So that's the next pair here. And you can keep going for as many pairs as you need. And if you want else, you just do one. So every single argument that sticks out now is just gonna be your else statement. I'm gonna say other close. So now it should say January, February for one and two and other for the rest. So if I do this and drag it down, you'll see we have January, February and the rest other. And we could go back and add more pairs here. So before this other, I can say it's five, then it's May, something like this. And that should give you that. And that other is not mandatory, so you don't really have to do it. And if you skip that else, then what's gonna happen, you will just get NAs for the rest of them. And I'm gonna go back and add my other to this. Hopefully that makes sense. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.